the pool at Bethesda, there was a man at the pool at Bethesda, and he couldn't get into the water. He couldn't get in and get clean like everybody else. But the Lord said, get up. And that man who couldn't walk got up and he could walk again. And God says to you today, get up. Get up out of your seat and come and follow me. He said, come follow me. I will make you fishes of men. He says, Jesus wept at Lazarus' grave. And then he said, I am the resurrection and the life. God wants you to wake up today, to not be a spiritual zombie, but to wake up, to remember that you can become a butterfly today and not a caterpillar. You can change from being a caterpillar to a butterfly today. You can be a spiritual butterfly, no longer living the life that you've lived, but living a life of joy, living a life of peace, living a life of victory, living a life of hope, not because of anything you've done, not for what you have done, but for what Christ can do. He can fill you with a new life, with a new hope, and with a new joy. And he loves you and died for you on that cross, Jesus Christ. And he wants you to know that love and know that joy. He wants you to know that peace. I was your age in Oldham and I used to fight. I used to... Pardon? Yeah, and he got resurrected. But when I was your age, I used to fight in Oldham. I used to take drugs and all sorts. But he saved me. I went to Strange Wedge, nearly cut a guy's ear off. And I came, I came to know the Lord. I came to know him and you can know him. Yeah? I came from a, a really tough background where we was always fighting on the streets and everything. You know? So so you can you can know that and it's free. My mum was the top clairvoyant in the country, right? To get your power rent you paid twenty quid. But what I'm telling you is free. All you gotta do is just say, I'm sorry for what I've done wrong and know that you can be forgiven. As a girl she became a prostitute, she went to Puerto Rico, became a prostitute, and her mum went to find her, yeah? She couldn't find her, so she left pictures of herself all over Puerto Rico. She come home, she come home, the daughter came downstairs with a client, she was in a hotel, she went in the toilet, she saw a picture of her mum. She got the picture, she said to her mum, she turned it around with his handwriting and it said this, I don't care what you have done, come home. And that's God's message to you today. I don't care what you have done, come home. However far you drift away, you can always come back to him and you cry out to him. He'll forgive you, okay? But you've got to turn to him as soon as you can, yeah? Words, right. Take care guys. God bless you. Have a lovely day, yeah? Take care, yeah? Jesus Christ died on that cross. He shed his